how are you today so you guys seem to like last week's vlog where I was like kind of cooking and cleaning and just chatting so I thought that I would film another one for you today now in the previous video I just filmed the Costco shop with me showing you all the deals that they had at Costco for the month of September and so if you haven't seen that video make sure to tap this eye right here I can't remember if it's right here right here <laughs> to watch it and so in this video I'm gonna be sharing with you what I bought my actual Costco haul I also need to clean out my refrigerator so because it's starting to get messy and I need to stay on top of it because if not then that's when it starts turning into something that I just don't want to deal with if you know what I mean I also need to clean my kitchen again but you know you guys watched that last week so I don't know maybe with the magic of editing I'll just show it dirty and then boom it's clean um, and just kind of pick up around the house I do need to mop my floors again um, because I have not done it since I filmed that video which was like I think almost two weeks ago now and so, um, yeah, just picking up the house and then that's about it. Oh, I also need to cook dinner, cook dinner early. I've got a meal plan um, this week and I have to do all of this before three o'clock <laughs> and it's 11 o'clock now. I mean, I need, my dinner needs to be done for sure by five because we have cheer practice tonight and we have swim practice tonight all at the same time. My, my husband and I split it up. Um, and I like to have dinner done early because we don't get home from swim until like 8.30. So all you guys that have your kids in sports and stuff, you guys know it is not for the week, okay? Because it's so easy to just say, oh, forget it. We'll just pick up Chick-fil-A and just eat that several times a week. But I try to stay on top of it. If I have a plan or if I know what I'm going to cook, it's going to be easier. So I'm just going to make some baked chicken. And I think last time I had... Uh, baked chicken. Last time I filmed this, I had baked chicken, but the, the oven fried baked chicken. But this time I'm just gonna bake regular chicken. I actually have to go to Kroger to get the chicken because I don't have it thought out. It's 11 o'clock right now. <laughs> I'm a mess. And do like, so it'll, it'll be a quick grocery store run and a grocery store haul. Girl, I'm thinning in a lot. Okay, I'll see what I could do in these, what, four hours? So that's enough of me chatting. Oh, I also have to like uh, do some work on my computer. I've got to upload a video and all that jazz so it's a lot it's a lot on my plate but it's you know what we're just gonna do what we can do today so let's go ahead and get started all right so we got some spring mix some eggs my favorite kind of eggs from costco lots of berries blackberries blueberries and strawberries and raspberries oh it smells so good in here butter and heavy cream which was cheap at $3.99 all right, so that's what I got that was cold, and I filmed that a couple of days ago, but I left the rest of the stuff out so that I can film it. I bought these paper plates again when I was in Costco. I was shocked to see that the Dixie eight and a half inch paper plates were on sale. These have not been on sale probably in like at least at a minimum four years, three or four years, and they were only $14. Usually they're $19.99 and they stay $19.99. I just feel like that's too expensive to spend. On Dixie plates so for 240 plates you get they were 14 I think $14 at the store I also got some Hawaiian rolls for the girls and then I bought these it's kind of like just large purchases I don't know um, I told you my I think in the last vlog video that I, I filmed my dad is working on a little garage kind of mud room like cabinet structure and I kind of bought these for them just to put Random stuff that we have in the garage and let me show you guys what it looks like really quick. Sorry the, uh, the lighting is so yellow in here, but basically we are reusing these Billy bookcases from my kids room that, that they had when they shared their room and it had all their books on. We're using, reusing this and then my dad already kind of had this half built. He's going to add another drawer on it. He added the doors in here. Of course he's going to add wood so that it's deeper and then he's gonna put we're gonna put shelving here and he'll probably add some more doors here um just so that we can have some place to put their swim bags the cheer bags the cheer shoes like the stuff that just ends up on my kitchen floor and then i'm gonna add hooks here so that they can hang their stuff up baskets whatever it's just basically storage for our garage we do eventually want to um epo epoxy the floors in here as well so it's a little by little, but I'll be happy to have this done and cleaned up. So it's just some place where we can put all that stuff that ends up on my kitchen floor. So back to the hall. So that's what, really what I bought these for. And I feel like 
I don't know. I can always find something to use with these. These were on sale, I think, for $7.99. Then I bought these. I'm like, I'm not even a candle person, but these smelled so good. It just, I don't know. They had all the Christmas decor out and the Christmas trees. And I don't know. I was just feeling like Christmas. And these scents were just everything. It was like a really, it smelled like an elegant Christmas. This balsam is my absolute favorite Christmas scent. It just smells like a fresh Christmas tree. Now, all of these smelled really good. This smelled like a good looking man. Um, this was smelling like mm, fall, Christmas, apple cider, kind of like berries. It just, everything just smelled so good. So I bought it. <laughs> I think this was $10.99 for these four candles. I can't quite remember the store, but yeah, I, this has me ready for Christmas for sure. I also bought these Cascade Platinum Plus because it was on sale, $5 off. It really wasn't a sale, it was really $2 off. You know how Costco hikes the price and then takes more off. They're normally $19.99, but they had them normally at $22.99 with $5 off. So I ended up spending a little bit less, but we were getting low on the ones that we had, so I just decided to purchase them. So they were $17.99 for this month. And last but not least, I bought a bag of apples because my girls love their apples. And it's also worth mentioning, and I talked about this in the Costco shop with me part, that PNG is having a special where you spend $100 on any of these products and you can easily spend $100 because most of these products are over $20 that you get a $25 Costco cash card. And if you spend $200, you get a $50 Costco cash card. And there are a lot of products that were part of this special. Everything from Tide to Bounty all that stuff but go watch the costco shop with me and you'll know what i'm talking about all together i think i spent a grand total of 182 dollars and 85 cents i really didn't even get any meat either but i don't know i don't know if it's just if it was just those splurge purchases um i did get a lot of fruit so it's all good the only thing i didn't get is avocados i should have because i bought avocados from sam's club and i just don't like them they don't taste right i don't know if it's me or what i just really like the avocados from costco so i'll probably have to run back to, to costco to get those so now that i showed you what i got i could put all this stuff away and kind of clean up my kitchen this is what my kitchen is looking like because we had a very busy weekend i was doing zara's braids all weekend on labor day weekend because <laughs> she needed them redone and it was a long weekend so i just did it and so uh the kitchen just kind of got out of hand plus Ava was opening some of her birthday presents she's like into crafts a lot so I have to put all this away and find a place for it and put the clean dishes away just just straighten up oh I forgot to mention that I can't remember if I mentioned that during the Costco uh, haul I did buy some ribs a slab of ribs and this is what is this in here so oily a slab of ribs and then a rotisserie chicken too um, that we were kind of munching off on over the weekend so that's what added the price up to because i think the slab of rib was 15 and then of course the rotisserie chickens were 4.99 i was hungry when i was shopping clearly oh and did i show these sorry oh, i forgot i bought these these are so good too these jojo's dark chocolate bars really clean ingredients not too bad with the sugar it's like eight grams of carbs in the full bar but i the bar is like really long they're like this long i break them in half and eat those this is a good snack and then i also bought these steak strips i think these were 9.99 too i like these because they're like a cleaner jerky and they taste really good my husband and i were eating off of those a lot for the whole weekend so now that is all that we bought. So I'm going to straighten up my kitchen, then I'm going to clean our fridge out, and then we will go to Kroger to get what we need for the week and meal plan. So let's let's get to it. A meal, having a meal plan I find really, really helps me cook every day. As long as I know what I have to cook and I don't have to make that decision in the same day, <laughs> that's what really starts messing me up. <laughs> my baby had a roblox themed birthday how cute is that and so we have like a little bit of the, this leftover like candy and stuff from the favors my sister did all this because i'm not that talented but these are rice krispie treats and like the potato chip bag covers how cute is that i ordered all this from etsy all right let's focus back to cleaning So, 
just took my vitamin and when I tell you I love this I love this stuff a lot of you guys last week were like yes Gia you're glowing I'm here for it girl it's because of this I'm trying to tell you if you guys don't you take any vitamins regardless if you use Mary Roots or not I'm telling you as you get older I'm saying 35 plus even you girlies that are in your early 30s really start paying attention to the vitamins that you need for your everyday life you know the minerals that we need it makes a huge difference when you take vitamins every day in your energy level your brain fog your clarity your mood I mean it affects so much so I love this liquid vitamin it is everything to me love this scent it smells so good it's called compassion flower it smells wonderful it just smells like a clean flower <laughs> more than anything so let's see let me go ahead and get a factor meal Here are the nutrients and ingredients. Oh, this smells so good. And this chicken is seasoned, y'all. You hear me? Seasoned. It smells so good. Mm. And just like that, we got a clean kitchen. That's what I'm talking about. Nice and clean and it smells delicious. Now, let me show you this first. Now, as most of you probably know, you probably saw me do the fridge, Amazon fridge, um, the TikTok fridge. Tap this eye right here to watch it. That's where I bought most of the containers. So I'm going to go through, pull everything out, kind of wipe it down, um, because clearly you could see we're starting to just shove things anywhere we could find it. <laughs> this is a mess. So, because I'm noticing the only problem we really have is like, these kind of containers here, they don't get used and then everything just gets shoved right here, just piling on top of each other. So I'm gonna take some things out. I'm gonna wash my fruit really well, put them in the right containers. It's the other thing. When I buy fruit, I need to wash them and then put them in those glass containers. A lot of the times I buy the fruit and I just shove it in here. So let me go ahead and pull everything out and then make it nice and pretty again so we can get to Kroger and cook. Time check, it's 129. I have 30 minutes to do this. Y'all, I totally forgot that, sorry, my fridge is beeping because it's open, so let me close it really quick. I totally forgot that I bought these fridge liners from Aldi, I wanna say maybe a week and a half ago, and I forgot that I, to open them so I can use them when I clean out the fridge next. So I'm gonna open these up and see how they work. They're by Crofton. Again, I got them in the Aldi Finds line. They're BPA free, which is cool. It's only three in here. I should have gotten two. I feel like I should have gotten two of these, but let's see how they fit. All right. These are actually pretty nice. They're just rolled up. You can see it has like a um, ribbed. Let's see, let's see if they fit on one side. All right, so I wiped this side down. Let's wipe it down again. This is just water because they're really not that dirty. It's just a touch too wide, but I really like it. Let me show you. See, it's just a touch too wide. I don't want to cut them though. Let's see. Oh, wait a minute. There it is. That fits better. And see, when I put that on here, it's, well, it still kind of slides around, but at least the glass won't get so dirty. Um, and I can just pull this up and wash this. So that's, that's a plus. I'm definitely going to put it, I wish I would have bought more. I might go to Aldi, Aldi this week to see if they have more of them because um, I would want to put one down here, on here, 
as well. All right, let me finish cleaning it up and then we'll, we'll decide where we're gonna put it, the rest of them. You know, if I'm being honest, it's hard to have these aesthetically pleasing, beautiful fridges when you buy in bulk from Costco or Sam's. Cause like, this is so big, it's just hard to fit. And we keep our, our ketchup cold. Same with like the, the stocks and stuff. I don't know, it's just, it's just harder to keep it pretty. And I'm not gonna decant, decant it and put it in another container because I know I'm not gonna keep up with it. So we just have to be realistic with our expectations. It's just gonna be, have to be a good enough. I have seen on, is it Instagram? It's like a huge flat rotating Lazy Susan that's like a square. I don't know if you guys have seen it yet on Instagram, but oh, gosh, it's so nice the way it rotates. And I'm like, Gia, just, just forget it. It's not gonna make you keep your fridge any better. Now clearly, this is where I need to start keeping the, the liner. You see, I always end up with some sort of stain back here or on this shelf here. Let me just see if I could clean it up real quick. Ugh, I don't even know what this is. I seriously don't know where these stains come from. They just come out of nowhere. I think it's because like I sh always shove stuff like, especially like leftovers, I'll shove them in the back and then move the stuff forward that we use the most of and then I forget about it so it's like I don't know it's like a double-edged sword I guess let me just finish cleaning this stuff out and we can go from there All right, so I cleaned this off with Dawn Power Wash and this fit here had to slide it up underneath our drink dispenser thing, which by the way, we love so, so much. I mean, I'm not sure why the mustard is in there, but again, this is another reason buy in bulk doesn't help because it's just, the stuff is just so big. Where does it fit? Where? Here, here, it just does not fit anywhere. That's kind of annoying. So I'm gonna leave one here cause that was kind of messy. I'm gonna put one here on the second shelf and I'll put one over here and see how we're gonna formulate everything back in here. Things are starting to sweat, so I'm gonna need to close the refrigerator and get my cold stuff back in here and then I'll show you guys what it looks like after. All right, are y'all ready to see? Ta-da! And that literally only took 20 minutes. I have never cleaned my fridge that fast before and I love it. I didn't have time to clean all the fruit and put them in the pretty containers. It's fine, we've got a meal plan, we've got a cook, we've got a grocery shop today. Um, all before four o'clock. So I'm on a time crunch. It's now 159, but it's clean. I really, really like these. I'm hoping I can find more of these. I'm sure I can order some off of Amazon, but I really like this because they're nice and they're easy to clean and wipe down or just take out and remove. I have one here, one here, and one here. They were 499 at Aldi. I am going to refill the juices as well. I have to refill the lemonade. This is pina colada juice and then our Waterloo's, which we drink, uh, Charles and I drink because it's sugar-free, sparkling water. And then uh, sometimes the girls will have a ginger ale. So I didn't do much to these drawers, just took some containers out and you know, I have like extra Waterloo's and stuff in there and Ava's yogurts and stuff. And so, yeah, that is good. It's looking good. It's all good for the trash week. So now we don't have to clean the refrigerator out and try to see what's old. Um, it's so much easier since I took the time to really think about how I wanted to function um, when I did that last video with the Amazon fridge. So I'm just really happy with the results. So let's get over to my desk so we can meal plan. I'm so sorry for the yard work in the background. My neighbor has been cutting their grass for like, seems like all morning. So. <laughs> what it is um okay so we've got a meal plan right now now how do you all meal plan like what is your process for me when i do have the energy to meal plan i like to like look at a lot of different food accounts on instagram and that's really where i get my inspiration i'll see something and then i'll save it in a collection on instagram then when i it's it's time for me to sit down and make my store list i can go through that collection on instagram and then pick my meals now it is a short week because we were off yesterday for labor day and i spent that whole day braiding zara's hair so i did not cook yesterday so um i just need to cook i need just need to have dinner for tuesday wednesday and thursday because friday night girl i'm ready to order out so i did find 
she made a, you know that viral feta cheese dish? She made it with spaghetti squash, and I think I'm gonna make that this week. I'll probably make that tomorrow. I just feel like that would be so yummy. When you see the sauce, it's so easy. You just get cherry tomatoes, onions, garlic, salt and pepper. I usually put a little Italian seasoning in mine too. And then you put like a block of feta cheese right in the middle and then you bake it and it's done. So I'm gonna have that um, for tomorrow. So what I typically do is I make my list, it's all electronically. I use the Google Keep app, which looks like this. And you can make multiple lists. And what I love about Google Keep is I could share it with my husband. So he has a list for Kroger, cause that's where I'm gonna go. And anytime he thinks of something that we need from Kroger, he'll add it to the list. And then we have a Costco list, and then we have a Target and Walmart list. And so we have a Publix list. So anytime I go to those stores, I'll check the list. And then my husband has, has it updated because he we share the same list. That is what I'm gonna do. So for, for our meals for this week, I'm making baked chicken and cabbage again, because that's what my husband wants. So we're having that tonight. And then tomorrow I'll make the feta dish and I'll just make regular pasta for my girls. And then I will add, I'm gonna add meat to it too, because we need some protein in there. So I'll probably add some ground beef to that. And then hopefully we'll have enough for leftovers, girl, because I don't know what I'm gonna make for Thursday. I don't wanna cook too much for Thursday because I don't wanna have leftovers for Friday because we're ordering out on Friday. So between me cooking tonight and cooking tomorrow, hopefully we'll have enough for leftovers. If not, then it'll be like chicken fingers from the freezer kind of night with a sweet, big sweet potato for my girls kind of night. And that's fine. Sometimes you have to have those kinds of nights. All right, so let me go ahead and make my list and then we'll get to go. I mean, is my skin not glowing? I mean, I don't know if it's just the natural light coming from my window or what, girl, but your girl is feeling good. If you hadn't noticed my face, and this is not a health update video, I do film those separately, but just in case you hadn't seen it, girl, I have been losing weight and I can see it in my face. So I'm like looking at my face in the camera like, who is she here? <laughs> I'm here for her. That girl, I'm just, you know, I've just been working on vibrating high, girl. Focused on just positive thinking, positive thinking about my weight loss journey, positive thinking about just being healthy. And you know what? It's showing. Everything I said at the beginning of the year about me being that girl, doing things to become that girl that I want to be, I've been doing it. I'm starting to see it and feel it. And it just feels so great. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you can tap this eye, right? here i think to watch it where i talked about just like my goals and you know what i wanted to do this year so far i'm doing it i'm exercising every day i'm eating clean i'm taking my vitamins i'm keeping up with my house being nice the only thing we haven't done so far are the projects finishing the projects around the house but i'm i'm working on it girl i'm feeling really really good and i can see it on my skin because my skin kind of reflects that I'm sorry, I went off on a tangent there, but <laughs> I'm just feeling really great. So let me go ahead, make my list for Kroger. I'll take y'all with me. We'll do a quick little shop with me. And then we gotta cook. And then we got my second job, you know, which is my girls, of course, my main priority. They get home, we got homework, we have cheer, we have swim, and we have dinner. And we gotta do all that before they go to bed at 8.30, 9 o'clock. So let me, get, let me get going. Good thing about eating ketogenically, or somewhat keto. Is this is where you spend the bulk of your time at? In the grocery store, in this section. Which is healthy for everybody. I'm back home let me quickly show you what I got but let me just address the noise my dad came over to work on the little mud room cabinet thing. he is having a ball <laughs> but I'm running out of time it's 3 33 Ava just got home and I have to go pick Zara up in about 30 minutes so I want to get the chicken on at least I got three mozzarella bags of mozzarella girls like to make homemade pizza these were on sale for $1.50 per bag so I got three of those I love the digital coupons at Kroger it really does make a difference I got two things of grape tomatoes this is for the feta cheese um, bake tomato bake I got feta cheese and then I got ricotta cheese I love ricotta cheese I love the taste of it I think that would be good mixed together for that and then I have my spaghetti squash here I have ground beef that I will be adding to that tomorrow I got us some eggs some butter because I'm gonna make the baked chicken, I'm, I'm gonna use butter. I'm, I don't like to use my Kerrygold butter 
for like baking. I know it makes a difference, but Kerrygold is really expensive. So girl, you gotta do what you gotta do. This, the Land O'Lakes was on sale, so I got a thing on Land O'Lakes. And then here's my chicken. I got chicken drums. These were 518 and then four chicken thighs. These were 515. So depending on how hungry we are, we may have leftovers, we may not. I have my fried cabbage that I'm gonna make and then also some broccoli because Zara doesn't like fried cabbage and I like her to get a green vegetable in as well. And then I have this jerk seasoning because there's another recipe I found on Instagram that I wanna try with this jerk seasoning. So I'm going to hurry up, clean my chicken off really well. I'm so glad I did the dishes first because I like to clean my chicken in the sink I like to use lemon and vinegar immediately dry it off and then season it and then I'll run the dishwasher altogether I spent about $60 and that is with the most expensive thing being the spaghetti squash it was like over six dollars that spaghetti squash I'm like you know they charge you per pound and I'm like oh. Let's see, let me verify that for sure. Oh, the feta cheese was $6.50. The spaghetti squash was $6.62. Those were the two most expensive things, even more expensive than the chicken. So yeah, all together with the coupons, it came to $60.99. All right, my, kitchen, my chicken has been cleaned and dried. I usually just sprinkle a little vinegar on it and then rub them down with a lemon, then rinse it really well, and then I've had it dry. So now I need to, I couldn't film it because it's just, it's hard to film it. I don't want to touch my camera with my hands. I don't want to touch anything while my hands are. So now I'm just going to disinfect the sink and all around it. And now I'm going to season my chicken. Here is the recipe that I'm, I'm uh, got my inspiration from. These are Cajun butter chicken wings. I'm basically going to do this, but I'm just using the thighs and the drums. He had me at Cajun and he had me at butter. <laughs> so I'm going to try it with my other pieces here. And basically it's just, you cover the chicken with mustard and that's new to me, either Dijon or yellow mustard. I have both. So I think I'm going to use Dijon mustard and then you use Creole seasoning, onion, onion powder, garlic powder, poultry seasoning, black pepper, smoked paprika, olive oil, and two tablespoons of honey. And then you melt a stick of butter over your chicken and then you just bake it uncovered 400 so for an hour so that's what we're going with here i hate getting my hands messy oh so i'm gonna have to get all my seasonings ready because you you're supposed to put the mustard on and then mix it all up and then add the all the rest of the stuff so i think i'll put the mustard on mix it all up wash scrub my hands and my nails really well and then season it again. All right, so I put the Dijon mustard in it. I did about a tablespoon and a half of this Creole seasoning that I had, and now a tablespoon of onion powder, garlic powder, poultry seasoning, a teaspoon of black pepper, and a, and a teaspoon and a half of smoked paprika. Can I tell y'all this chicken smells amazing? Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Ugh, it's something about like the smoked paprika with the Creole seasoning, baby. It's good. Oh, this chicken smells so good, y'all. I almost forgot to put the melted stick of butter in there. I'm melting a stick of butter right now in the microwave. I'm gonna pour that on, uncovered. Now I'm putting her in the oven, 400 degrees for an hour. Oh, oh yeah. Look at sister. Honey, what is it, baby? Let me see. Hold on, let me just pour this. Oh, she's cute. Let me see. Oh, she's so cute, baby. <laughs> All right, I have about 30 minutes left on the chicken. I just chopped up the full head of cabbage that I just bought from Kroger. And I'm going to get ready to chop up my onion. And I'm going to saute my onion in some bacon fat. Now, you do not have to use bacon fat, of course. To me, it just gives it a nice little flavor. So, you know, I'm sorry to those who, you know, are, are vegan or just prefer not to, you know, use bacon fat but this smells really good <laughs> so all right so i'm gonna put that in there and i'm gonna chop up my onion to saute all right i just added two large cloves of garlic and now i'm gonna get some better than bouillon and put like a big heaping tablespoon in as well. all right so here is what it's looking like and now i'm getting ready to add in the cabbage and kind of like mix it all in nicely and then i'll season the cabbage all right i put some smoked paprika on there and then i have a packet of saison i have a half a packet left over so i'm just going to add this in i may add more salt pepper garlic well i've got to be careful with the salt because that better than bouillon has a lot of salt in it so i'm going to put onion powder garlic powder and black pepper 
and some Worcestershire sauce in here. All right, y'all, they look a little crispy, but let me tell you something, it smells absolutely delicious in here. Really, really good. So I'm gonna, my cabbage is done. I just seasoned it, like I said, with the Sazon, salt, pepper, garlic, onion powder, Worcestershire, and then of course the bacon fat and the onions and stuff. I made my girls broccoli because sometimes Ava eats cabbage, sometimes she doesn't, and Zara definitely doesn't eat cabbage, but she does eat broccoli, so this is gonna be their vegetable. And I'll have a Hawaiian roll for them, and yeah, we're about to eat. Time check, it's 526. All right, here's my plate, here's the girls' plate. Charles isn't hungry because he ate kind of like a late lunch, so I'm gonna go ahead and eat now, it's 530, and then we'll get ready to leave in about 20 minutes for a swim. Y'all, when I tell you that chicken was so good, literally fell off the bone just about. So, so good. Highly recommend that recipe. Later. Oh, y'all. I am beat. It's about 9.15. I changed my shirt because I had, uh, when I was cooking, I got all stuff on it. But yeah, the girls just put them to bed. I had to finish homework. I had to update. Uh, I had to upload one of my videos. So I'm tired. But at least we have enough food for tomorrow to eat. The chicken was so good, y'all. I cannot tell you how I'm not, like, stressed how good that was. The girls ate it. Anytime everybody eats the food. <laughs> It's a win, it's a plus for me. So yeah, I'm just gonna put the food up, straighten up the kitchen, and then go to bed. So let me straighten up real quick and then I'll show you guys when I'm done. And I didn't make too much of a mess because I was trying to like clean up as I was cooking. So I'm going to just put those in containers, put them in the fridge, throw these few things in the dishwasher, and that's it. Ooh. Kitchen is cleaned, y'all. I just have my water bottles here that I'm washing all the lids in the dishwasher, so I'll put those away. I love, by the way, this is totally random, but I love this that I bought, that I got from Timu, where you could stack your water bottles. Amazing, because we have a bunch here. Um, but yeah, that's it, girl, I'm tired. I had a good day today, though. It was a good, productive day today. I got a lot of things done. And I did the best I can, and that's all I can ask for. And I pray that you all had a good day today. Even if things didn't go perfectly, if you if you were just doing the best you can, then you had a good day. So just give yourself some grace um, and just know that you are enough. So thank you guys so much for spending the day with me. I'm about to go upstairs, do a little self-care, relax, pour into myself so I can be revived and refreshed for tomorrow. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.